all gonna pick your poison. Today, you're being poisoned with one of the deadliest natural substances on Earth, beans. Castor beans come from the castor plant. They are a species native to East Africa that currently grows anywhere it's warm, like in the southwestern US. Despite their toxicity, people keep castor plants as ornamentals. They're deadly, but just pretty enough to be worth the risk. They're like the femme fatales of the bean world, or the Tim Tebow's of the football world. Why are they so deadly? Because castor beans contain ricin. If injected or inhaled, as little as 22 micrograms of ricin per kilogram of body weight could be enough to kill you. That's around the size of a few grains of table salt. If ingested, a much larger dose is needed in the 20 milligram range or about eight castor beans. Once the ricin is in your system, it gets absorbed by your cells and inactivates the ribosomes, ultimately causing cell death. And it does this fast. One molecule of ricin can kill 1,500 ribosomes per minute. Despite that, you'll still die a slow death, and you won't even feel the effects of the poison for one to three days, which is why it's a popular choice among assassins, like the KGB agents who in 1978 used an umbrella tip to inject ricin into the leg of Bulgarian dissident Georgi Markov. Ricin causes diarrhea, dehydration, organ failure, circulatory shock, and eventually death. So, you've died from ricin poisoning, and I've gotta say, there are not a lot of upsides here. First off, you probably died from eating uncooked castor beans you stole from someone's yard, which makes you the type of person who will eat other people's ornamental plants. Get it together, sociopath. Secondly, ricin is pretty much the poison of failures. Yes, the KGB was able to kill Bulgarian dissident Georgi Markov, but other assassination attempts failed miserably. Like when they poisoned Soviet dissident and Nobel Prize winning author Alexander Solzhenitsyn. He survived and went on to criticize the Russian regime for the next three decades. Way to make friends, Russia. Ricin was also a failure as a chemical weapon. In World War I, the US tried it as a coating for bullets, but that didn't stick, pun intended. Then Canada tried to make ricin cluster bombs, but canceled the program after realizing that pretty much every other toxic substance is more effective. And recently, it was sent by a domestic terrorist to a congressman and the president via the US post office. But none of the poison ever got into anyone's system because ricin is easy to detect and making it small enough to inhale is also very, very difficult. Ricin's the classic what could have been. It's got all the potential in the world, but never really amounted to anything, like Tim Tebow. So are you sticking with ricin, or would you like to fire up some nicotine poisoning? While you're mulling it over, please subscribe and let us know if there are any poisons you'd like to hear about down below in the comments.